Hello and welcome to my studio and um, today I'm just going to give you a brief overview of the ProLite laser harp. So this is the laser harp controller. Okay so on the front you've got three LEDs here which relate to the harp activity and the MIDI sensitivity. Dip switches for functions which are explained on the top there. So you can have green and red beams, red beams, green beams, blue beams, rainbow mode, sound orientation and the number of beams 8, 9, 10 and 12. We then got three LEDs which relate to the MIDI bank uh, which is being played. The width is the width of the beam, so you can alter the width of the beams, power on, and you've got three individual switches to change MIDI bank to open and close the harp and to switch the power on and off. Open and closing the harp and the MIDI bank can also be changed using the foot switch. Okay, around the back. Power in. ILDA output so you can connect to a normal ILDA laser. MIDI out uh, to connect to your computer or synthesizer, foot switch input, and finally uh, the sensor input. So that's it for the controller. Okay, next up we've got the laser harp uh, sensor, which is this here. So on the front, again, you've got the three MIDI bank buttons so you can see what MIDI bank you're playing, which we'll show you switched on in a minute. You've got the main sensor and the sensor receives. So this light lights up when the actual sensor receives a signal. And then around the back you've got a sensitivity knob which you can see there which adjusts the sensitivity of the of the harp and your sensor output. Last but not least we've got the laser. Quick look around the back, you've got the mains input, um, safety key switch, that's that one, and then the ILDA in. So that goes straight from the laser hub controller into the laser. Then around the front, you've got your aperture. Aperture hits the laser, and that's where it shoots up into space. Okay, over here, we've got a smoke machine, so you can see the beams, and then we have the foot switch. Foot switch A open and closes the harp, and no, foot switch B is what changes the MIDI bank. Okay, so I'll show you all that switched on in a second. Okay, so this is the laser harp controller all connected up. So you've got the sensor, foot switch, MIDI, ILDA, and the power. Okay. And around the front, the red button switches the controller on and off. So there we go. So the red lamp shows that the power is on, and the green lamp is the current uh, MIDI bank which has been selected. Okay. And then over here on your sensor you've got the green um, MIDI bank there. So you've got the green MIDI bank and like I said before foot switch B is what changes the MIDI bank so we're on green which is middle octave, blue for a higher octave and then red for the bottom octave. Okay so if we switch the laser on Key switches on. Okay, blast of smoke. And then foot switch A, which is what turn the beams up. And there you have it. Laser harp in full operation, ready to go. So you can see over here, uh, we've got the sensor which sits on top of the laser. It can sit about a meter away, but I find it works quite well there. And then over there is the main controller. And then if again, if we change B, you'll see the LEDs change colour. for the different banks that we're selecting. Okay, so red for the first octave, green for the middle octave, and blue for the for the final octave. And then to close the harp again it's just foot switch A. Ok, 
Okay, and now time for a demonstration. Okay, so here we are all set up. So the laser harp is plugged into Logic. A bit of smoke. And if we open the harp. Okay, and once it starts moving, we can then play. Again, change the octave with the B on the foot switch. Again, you'll see the MIDI light there change. Change the uh, change the MIDI bank. So again, watch the LED change there, and also down here on the controller. Okay. And there you go.